In this question, our goal is to find the area of a right triangle. So to begin, let's draw a right triangle and label the legs A and B and label the hypotenuse X. Now the Pythagorean theorem tells us that A squared plus B squared must equal X squared. So if we solve this equation for X, we see that X is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. Let's now take our x here and replace it with the square root of a squared plus b squared so that we have only two variables to contend with. Now our goal is to find the area of the triangle. Since the area is base times height divided by 2, we can see that the area of this triangle will be a times b divided by 2. So our goal is to find the value of a times b divided by 2. To begin, let's use the information about the sum of squares of the three sides being 96. So if we take the three sides here and square them, their sum will be equal to 96. From here, we should recognize that if we take the square root of a squared plus b squared and square it, we get a squared plus b squared. At this point, we can combine terms here and then divide both sides by 2 to get a squared plus b squared equals 48. This information will be very useful later on. All right, now let's use our other piece of information that tells us the perimeter is equal to six plus six root three. This means that if we take our three lengths and add them together, the sum will be six plus six root three. Now we already learned that a squared plus b squared equals 48. So let's replace a squared plus b squared with 48. From here, we can simplify the square root of 48 to get 4 root 3. And now we can see that we have 4 root 3 on the left-hand side of the equation and 6 root 3 on the right-hand side. So if we subtract 4 root 3 from both sides of the equation, we see that a plus b must equal 6 plus 2 root 3. Now remember, our goal here is to find the value of a times b divided by 2. And we can accomplish this by squaring both sides of our equation. The reason for this step will be apparent shortly. Let's now move our equation over here and expand the left-hand side. Now, when we expand and simplify the right-hand side, we get the following. Notice that if we rearrange the terms on the left-hand side, we see that we have a squared plus b squared, which we already know is equal to 48. So when we replace a squared plus b squared with 48, we see that we now have 48 on both sides of the equation. So if we subtract 48 from both sides, we get 2 times AB equals 24 root 3. From here, if we divide both sides by 2, we get A times B equals 12 root 3. Now to find the area of the triangle, we need to find the value of AB. And we now know that it equals 12 root 3. So finally, when we divide 12 root 3 by 2, we get 6 root 3. So this is the area of the triangle.